Lesson 2-7, Translations and Reflections on the Coordinate Plane. In this lesson, we will be discussing two specific types of transformations. Translations and Reflections. When we are translating a point or an object on the coordinate plane, we are simply sliding that object into a new position without changing uh, the size or the orientation of the object. We're basically sliding the object without turning it at all. When we are creating a reflection of an object, we are flipping the object or the point over either the x or the y axis. So basically we're creating a mirror image of the object. Uh, once again, just like with the translation, we are not changing uh, the size or the shape of the object. Alright, so let's try a couple examples of each transformation. Let's say we wanted to take triangle ABC and translate it two units to the right. We are going to translate triangle ABC two units to the right. So how will we go about doing that? Well, the easiest way to translate this entire shape would be to take each point and individually translate that point two units to the right. So we'll take point A, which is, what's the ordered pair for point A? This is 2 comma 3. Point B is 3 comma 5, and point C is 6 comma 3. Alright, so we'll take each of these points and individually translate each point two units to the right. Okay, so let's start with point A. We're going to take point, uh, point A and translate it or move it two units to the right. Now please note that since we're moving in the horizontal direction, only our x-coordinate is going to be affected, right? We're not moving it up or down in the vertical direction, so our y-values for each point are not going to change at all. Okay, so starting at point A, I'm going to move 1, 2 units to the right. So this will be the location of my new a-coordinate, right? And we're going to call this a prime, and I use that little apostrophe looking symbol to represent that, okay? A prime is simply, simply represents the new location of point A after I've translated it, okay? Point B will also be translated one, two units to the right. B prime, okay, will be five comma five. And then C, I will translate two units to the right, one, two. This will be C prime, which is eight comma three. All right, and connecting and connecting these three points will give me my New triangle. Okay, and notice how the the uh, the size, the shape, and the orientation of my new triangle is ex exactly the same as the first triangle. All I've done is taken the original triangle and shifted each point two units to the right. Okay, so that's really all there is to translating an object. Okay, let's now try a reflection. All right, so let's take, you know, let's do this. Let's use, let's use our original shape for this. Let's use our original triangle ABC.
straight, and this was what, 6, this was 6, 3. Okay, so instead of translating the triangle, now we are going to reflect it. So reflect triangle ABC over the Y axis. Right, remember on our coordinate plane, this is our X axis and this is our Y axis, right? So to reflect this triangle over the Y axis would simply mean to uh, take this triangle and actually flip it over the Y axis to create a mirror image of itself, okay? Uh, so we're going to go about this the same way as we did with, trans with uh, translating the triangle. We're going to take each point and reflect each individual point over the y-axis, okay? So let's take point A, 2 comma 3. If I wanted to create a mirror image or reflection of point A, I'm going to take it and flip it over the y-axis. Right, so this would be A prime. Oops, A prime. Right, notice that the point is still the same distance, right, still the same distance from the y-axis, it's still two units from the y-axis, and it's still the same distance from the x-axis, right? It's just in a different quadrant, okay? So this is a prime, which is going to be, what coordinate? Negative 2 comma 3. Let's do the same to point B. So the reflection for point B would be right here. This would be B prime. And this would be the ordered pair, negative 3, 5. And then point C, whoops, this, forgot to label it C, the reflection for point C, because C is originally six units away from the y-axis, right, it's six units away from the y-axis, it will, it will still be one, two, three, four, five, six units away from the y-axis, right, just in the second quadrant, okay, and we'll connect our three points to create our shape. Right, C prime is negative 6, 3. Okay, uh, so that's really all there is to reflecting uh, a shape on the coordinate plane. Now, if I wanted to reflect this shape over the x-axis, okay, I would have simply taken my shape and flipped it this way right over the x-axis, okay? Um, I'll see you in the next video.